Hey guys, it's Phil Sally uh, with the Green Market Update for Friday, September 1st. <laughs> uh, the, in the week, the December corn futures were down uh, two and a half at 355 and a quarter. November bean futures were up uh, four and a quarter at 949 and a half. And December wheat futures were up four and a quarter at 438 and three quarters. So yesterday, uh, Thursday morning, December corn futures hit their low at 344 and a quarter. That's been the yearly low for December futures. But shortly after that, uh, we did see a rally and uh, prices did come back from that. Um, actually, a year ago, on August 31st, 2016, uh, the December corn futures hit their low on, uh, on the same exact day on that 31st and tend to move forward, moved up after that. So we're kind of hoping that moving forward, we're gonna kind of see the same trend that we did um, back last year with August 31st being the low and continue to rise up from there with our December corn futures. Uh, so on Monday, the uh, crop conditions report came out and that's kind of big news for beans now, corn's already made, but they, uh, they raised a good to excellent uh, one percentage point to 61% good to excellent on the beans. And as a year ago, uh, soybeans were actually rated at 73%. So uh, beans did see some support uh, today and yesterday, and that's based off of uh, kind of the weather pattern for the first part of September. So they're talking about uh, kind of being dry uh, for at least most of the Midwest. And that's real important because we're in the last couple weeks of beans finishing out uh, till they're done growing. So uh, we could see some volatility in this market with uh, the talk of an early frost. And uh, that'll probably be mostly for beans, a little bit of corn. Um, but corn's pretty much ready made, but the early frost in the beans could be detrimental to the yield. So we could see something the USDA, uh, if that were to happen, could see them drop their yield on that. Uh, so down south, corn harvest is, uh, it started slowly. It came to a halt with all the rain uh, post this hurricane. So uh, we didn't, the market didn't get to see too much fresh information coming off the combine. Market likes to see uh, once the combines are in the field, kind of yield averages and just see exactly how the corn's doing. But we didn't have any of that fresh news this week. So we're kind of hoping next week we can get some of that into the market and maybe help this uh, corn market out a little bit. So as we get into September here, um, we do have another USDA report coming out on September 12th. That's Tuesday at 11 a.m. Um, it's crop production report, supply and demand. And we'll also see if the USDA is going to adjust their uh, their average for yield for corn and beans for this harvest. So as always, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call. Thanks.